Hey guys, I'm Tiff. And I'm Steph, and welcome to Apache News Show 19. Let's get started. Saturday school is this Saturday, March 8th from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. in C110. If you are assigned to Saturday school, please check your paperwork to see if you should be there. Have fun. National Honor Society will be having an informational meeting for all interested eligible applicants today at lunch in J21. This is an optional meeting to get your questions answered about NHS. Wondering what's going on in the world? Here's Valerie Gasparini to tell us what's happening in Ukraine. Recently, there has been some tension in the Ukraine regarding the controversial invasion by the Russians. Around November, the president of Ukraine was working a deal with the European Union to get closer ties. And at the last minute, he canceled those deals, wanting to have closer ties with Russia. This led to a lot of protest around the city, primarily in Kiev, the capital. And we start to see a conflict between those who want a more connection to the West versus those who want more of a connection to Russia. Putin is concerned about to destabilize Ukraine because they have ships on the Black Sea and the Crimea. And so what he has done to, quote, save the Russian people is to send troops without military uniforms wearing black masks to come in there and basically take over the airfields and create problems to the Ukrainian government. So now it becomes the big problem is how is the West going to handle what is basically an invasion of the Ukraine? From an American government point of view, the real question here is what can we do about it? And it would be hard to argue that what's happening in Crimea particularly is a, a direct threat to American security. So he can't really invoke any sort of emergency military powers. He, the one thing he's explicitly going to do, and he's putting this package out, soon is a uh, set of sanctions, economic sanctions against Russia. The world will be watching to see if this international affair is solved. This has been Valerie Gasparini, back to you guys in the studio. Thanks Val. Trials for Science Bowl are available for current 9th to 11th graders. A written short answer trial will be on Friday, April 18th from 3 to 4 p.m. in S106. The buzzer round of trials will be held on Friday, April 25th from 3 to 4 p.m. Don't worry, it's not necessary to know all of the subjects to be on the Science Bowl team. Check out www.science.energy.gov slash WDTS slash NSB for more info and sample questions. Sophomores, there's a mandatory meeting at lunch on Friday, March 14th in the lecture hall for students interested in taking APUSH next year. APUSH applications, expectations, and all your questions will be answered. And juniors, there's also a mandatory meeting at lunch on Thursday, March 13th in the lecture hall if you want to take AP U.S. Government or AP Comparative Government next year. If you have any questions about either of these classes, you can visit Mr. Panza in D108. For students who plan to take Chinese for Fall 2014 and have signed up for the Chinese Placement Test, please remember that testing will take place on Wednesday, March 12th. Every student must sign up in the library before testing. Recently, our speech and debate team went on a competition and came back victorious. Here's Melody for more. Congratulations to our very own speech and debate team for winning second place sweepstakes last Friday and Saturday at the state qualifying event. For impromptu, Wilfred Lee won sixth place, Isaac Klipstein won third place, and Rohan Arnaud won second place. For humorous interpretation, Melody Wan won fifth place, Sharon Ye won fourth place. Um, I was in complete disbelief because I thought everyone in my final round was so funny and I didn't think that I would actually win. For original advocacy, Kelsey John won first place. For duo, Kevin Bowie and Gavin Singh won sixth place and Cheryl Chan and Abel DeCastro won first place. That's the best part, looking out in the audience and seeing like, all our friends there. For those 10 minutes, Abel and I are not Abel and I. They laugh at our jokes. It's like, ha ha ha, okay, we didn't think it was that funny, but <laughs> thanks for laughing. <laughs> for international extent, Eric Zhao won fourth place, Morvin Sharp won third place, and Rohan Anand won first place. For policy debate, George Howell and Gavin Singh won first. For Lincoln Douglas debate, Justin Rascala won sixth place, and Hassan Nuruddin won fourth place. The event I do is Lincoln Douglas debate, basically a debate event, it's one-on-one, -on -one, and you focus on ethics, morality, and you question whether or not the resolution should be viewed in a certain type of framework. Once again, congratulations to our speech and debate team and to the many people who made it to state. Good luck and back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Melody. For current National Honor Society members or students interested in becoming a member for the 2014 to 2015 year, the application can be printed from the NHS website nhs.ahs.ausd.net. And for those current senior two-year members, you also have to reapply. Applications are due Wednesday, March 12th, before 12.30 p.m. in J21. 
AP Scenes is almost here. If you're thinking the tests are a little too hard, you can cancel by Tuesday, March 11th with a $10 cancellation fee. No refunds will be allowed after AP exams are ordered on Wednesday, March 12th. And if you're taking AP exams outside of AHS, you need to see Ms. Von Kriegenberg in the Student Services Building. French kids are gone and Ian's crying for Johan, but they haven't left without saying goodbye to Arcadia. This trip was great, amazing, awesome, perfect. Unforgettable. Thank you for everything. In and out. Burgers. Pancakes. French fries. Pizza. <laughs> Muffins. Disgusting. Uh, I don't like it. Of course, Universal Studio, Hollywood sign. Disneyland. Hollywood. And you guys! in America, we thought that the Americans were fat and we thought that they were too proud of their country. Au Seniors, do not park in the student parking lot if you do not have a permit. Ticketing will be enforced. The office does not accept items to hold or deliver to students. Students are not excused to leave class to pick up any items they have forgotten at home. If you forgot an item at home, you need to make arrangements with your parents to meet in the lobby of the school to pick up the items. You have to do this before school, during passing period, or at lunch. As much as you want to, you cannot be late to class or miss class in order to pick up them. There'll be more after this short break. Stay tuned! Oh man, it's such a nice day for a jog. Well, no, it's... Uh, it, it, there's a Oh my god, there's a bee! Beehive near cafeteria? Should have read the newspaper. If you want to be a part of the Apache Pow Wow, then come fill out a form and turn it in to A213 by April 15th. <laughs> Arcadia, we have a mission. To find the prom venue for 2014. And, and you're, you're all going, going to, to come, come along for the ride. ride. And your judges. Do you have what it takes to choose 2014's prom venue? Only five contestants piqued the judges' interest. There was Ronnie Yamani. I could run across the country to smell a million different flowers, or I could just go to the Arboretum. Let's not forget Howard Huang. I choose Union Station. And up next we have... My hobby is analyzing atomic masses. I can analyze yours at the California Science Center. So Kevin, there were two very special auditioners that had the judges on their feet. Kerry Zhang! We couldn't get an interview with Kerry Zhang representing Vipiana. Last but not least, we have Olympic gold medalist in rowing, Abel De Castro. Oh, so where are you heading? I'm getting big by rowing myself to the Aquarium of the Pacific. Hope to see you there. Arcadia, meet your five prom venue contestants. The Arboretum. Union Station. California Science Center. Vipiana. And the Aquarium of the Pacific. Did it, she 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 did it, I know. The fact that she had him and now she's strong and he's strong, I know. 
Seniors who have had academic record changes must notify the admissions office at each college campus, UC, CSU, and private colleges to which you have applied. This includes failing to earn a C grade or better in a course, or if you've added a drop course. Handouts are on how to report these changes are available at the COD desk. Don't slack off, seniors! All you hardworking juniors or seniors interested in getting a job? Enroll in retail marketing and get the job skills you need while earning 10 credits. Go to the Career Center to enroll today. There's sports this week, right? I think there is. Well, let's see what they're up to. Never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie. Thursday, our boys soccer team played yet another home playoff game. This time, it was against Anaheim High. Anaheim, much like Arcadia, was an underdog team coming into the playoffs. Anaheim won two home games to earn a trip to play Arcadia at Solzer Stadium. The Apaches went down early as Anaheim would strike for an early goal. The rest of the game, Anaheim's defense would keep the Apaches at bay. The end result would be a 2 to nothing loss for the Apaches. But despite being eliminated, our boys soccer team was the first team in eight years to make it this far in the playoffs. They finished with a 12-11-4 record. Good job boys and good luck next season. Thanks guys. If you're a junior interested in joining the Constitution team, the mandatory information meeting is on Monday, March 10th at 7 p.m. at Arcadia City Hall. Remember to bring your parents. If you have any questions, please ask Mr. Fox or Ms. Leahy. All students interested in applying for any PTSA scholarships must be a member of the AHS PTSA. The card must be in your name, not your parents, and you have to include a copy of your PTSA card with every scholarship you apply for. Volunteers are at the front desk in Building A every Thursday during lunch to help you join. Hey Steph, how many Oscars do you have? Um, zero. That's okay, that's the same amount of Oscars Leonardo DiCaprio has too. If you missed the star-studded party, here's Blake and Gabe to tell you more. Hello, and welcome to the 2014 Oscar Wrap-Up, APN Edition. I'm Gabe Elliott. And I'm Blake Harris. We have two minutes to cover a three-hour show, so without further ado, here we go. This year's Oscars was hosted by Ellen DeGeneres, who did everything from comedy to setting the world record for most retweets and ordering pizza halfway through the show and giving it out to all the directors. I'm sure you want to know what won the major award of the evening. Winning Best Original Song, Let It Go, from Frozen. All right, now for the second most important award. Best Picture that was an animated movie goes to Frozen again! Yeah. The show should have been called The Gravities because Gravity stole the show, taking home seven Oscars, including Best Director for Alfonso Cuarón. Best Actor in a Supporting Role went to Jared Leto for Dallas Buyers Club. And Best Actress in a Supporting Role went to Lupita Nyong'o for 12 Years a Slave. Best Actress in a Leading Role went to Kate Blanchett for her role in Blue Jasmine. And the Oscar for Best Actor in a Leading Role goes to Leonardo DiCaprio for Wolf of Wall Street. Finally, Leo gets that win that... Like, it wasn't Leo. He didn't win. What do you mean he didn't win? It was Matthew McConaughey. Who's Matthew McConaughey? Dallas Buyers Club. He lost 30 pounds for the role, so but, pretty much went to him. So Leo didn't win an Oscar? He didn't win. It's okay. The award for Best Motion Picture went to 12 Years a Slave. The second I saw this movie, I knew it was going to win. Its sheer raw acting and brutal storytelling was incredible and well-deserving for the Oscar. Well, that wraps up our show. I'm Blake Harris. And I'm Gabe Elliott. And the Oscar for the best APN duo goes to Gabe and Blake. Well, first of all, I want to thank the Academy. This means so much. I want to thank my mom, my dad. Um, I want to thank you, Rachel. All right, all right, all right, all right. That's all for this week. Good job to our Apaches who donated 220 units of blood during the UCLA blood drive. Yay! We'll see you guys next week for show 20. Bye. Bye.